They got the chips in there. Jake on the ropes here. Almost a coin flip. Tom, a little favorite. Good luck. Schindler got lucky early on to make a suck out work. Will he do it again? The flop is an ace, queen, 10. Oh, always a sweat. Tom Marchese looks at ace jack on the first hand here. He's the chip leader. He'll make it 27,000 to go. Mm -hmm. Aaron with a pair of threes going to muck it quickly. I would not have folded pocket threes, by the way, there. No. No. I'm going to take a flop. Reiner is going to go out. Jake Schindler plays a lot of big time poker, goes out as well. Is Dave Peters out? Anybody going to call this, Phil? No. No, he gets it through. And, and you know, I understand no one wants to play against a guy that has 2.4 million and obviously super talented, uh, great young player as well. Six and 12 are the blinds. That is Aaron Ogus. The Microsoft man, 50 years old. He's gonna fold this quickly. Now Reiner Kempa. Great player. Absolutely. Looks down at a king, queen. I like the way he plays. You yeah. Know, Reiner just really has a, has a nice style about him. He's moving all in here. Got the second shortest stack at this moment and 175,000. That's what he's going to do. He's going to put in all his chips here. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you know, he has, what, 14 big blinds? Jake Schindler, 28-year-old poker pro. He has three and a half bigs. Look at yep. that. And he's got to call this with yep. a king jack. Yep. He's not going to like it when he sees the king queen. They're going to turn him up here, Phil. Reiner looking good. Up against Jake's King Jack, Jake Schindler, 28 years old, poker pro. 28 years old, 26% though. Needs a lot of luck. Let's see if a jack hits. No, 933. Basically it was two and a half to one underdog. Now you can see on the screen, 14%. There's only three jacks left in the deck. Need a lot of luck. Oh, that's interesting. Now Jake needs a queen and Rainer needs. Yeah. Anything but a queen. <laughs> Two outs, 44 cards in the deck. Rainy looking good, but a queen hits. Oh, man. Bink. Wow. Jake Schindler Goodness. taking down the pot. Well, here we are, 81,000 for sixth, 432 for first. You only move up a little bit, six to fifth. Only 27,000. Yeah. Tom Marchese's a chip leader with 2.3 million. Lines are six and 12. Let's go back down to the felt here at the eSports Arena in Las Vegas. Action's gonna be on Reiner Kempa. He's got about 132,000, and he's quickly gonna muck this hand into Jake Schindler. Just got lucky to stick around. He's got King-10 here, Phil. Very interesting spot. I suspect that, you know, everybody's based on the math. What should I do with exactly this number of big blinds and King-10? He folds, but I suspect he would've moved in with King-Jack. That's how close it is. Wow. Right behind him here, Dave Peters, who's made 21 million in live earnings in his lifetime, is going to raise with the Queen Nine. And there's Sam with a Jack Seven. He won't play. Here's our big cheese, our chip leader, Tom Marchese, also not playing. And now into Aaron, the non professional from Microsoft, also folding. So Dave Peters taking down that pot. Made a lot of money on the circuit. He's 31 years old. World Series of Poker bracelet to his name. Obviously a world-class player. Absolutely. Getting back down to with Jake Schindler. Out of Philadelphia. He started playing poker with his friends when he was 15. Got started late. Hmm. <laughs> 15. <laughs> it does feel like late these days. <laughs> <laughs> <No way. laughs> Bold. Sam Savarol also folding. Now Marchese with an attractive ace-10 of clubs. Yep. Now look at this. Before we saw him raise to 27,000, this time he comes in for 35,000. I like it. That's almost three times mm -hmm. the big blind. Aaron's going out. So you like the mix-up play. A lot of a lot of studies, they say, well, keep it exactly the same. Don't give him, you know, just no. make it three times every time or two times, but you like the mix-up play. 
Well, he's also shown, uh, you know, Reiner the door here. So Reiner can fold this hand, sitting on the stack that he's sitting on, 132,000. Why put in 35,000 yeah. at this point, an extra 24,000 with four or five suited? But he looks interested. He looks like he wants to play, and he's going to. Yeah, I don't love that call. I'd like to see Reiner have like 250,000 or something before he plays the four or five suited. Let's see if it works out for him. Well, look at this. He is working out so far. He hits a four. So he's the favorite at this point. Jack Queen also up there. Tom with the inside straight draw. Reiner first to act here. I suspect he's, that's a very good flop for you. What are you looking for with four or five of clubs? I suspect he'll move all in here. Taking his time. You kind of get the feeling that you know he's going to shove it anyhow. Push it in like he should. Yes, he does. Insta call by the big cheese. They turn him up. Look at this. Very close to even money, as so you, as the folks at home can see here. Reiner can't be 28 years old out in front at this point. Oh, look at that, a nine. Now he loses to an eight, a 10, a king, or an ace. Yep. He's still two to one Let's favorite, though. Let's see what happens. It's a king on the river. Oh, my. Big cheese has knocked out Reiner in an awful fashion. King on the river makes the nuts straight and the rich get richer. Marchese yeah. increases his chip lead. Get a free entry into a $5,000 guaranteed tournament and play online poker for real cash and prizes at clubwpt.com. Sign up for free today using bonus code YT23. Sam Savarol. 6-4, quickly folding as well. Now the big cheese, Tom Casey with jack-9, and he will raise. Keeping his foot on the gas. Aaron Ogus. No discounts. No. You're not old enough. Going out, and Jake Schindler with king-3. He yeah. appears to like this. Yeah, this is, this is different. This is not 4-5. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think you can, you can play this. He's made the call. And the flop is a 5-5 five, five queen. I'd rather have 4-5 after that one. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so neither player catching anything. Let's see if the chip leader will try to abuse him. Yes. A mere 15. Doesn't have that many chips to float around, though. Didn't get any of that. He's king high. What's he going to do? He's seriously thinking about all three things. Like, if he somehow thinks Tom has nothing, he he could have even raised there. Yeah. Uh, he could have called there, but I think the fold is the more standard. Yeah, he would have gotten Tom out, but that's after we see the cards. So Tom or Casey, the big cheese, looking good here tonight. Action continues on Sam Savarol, poker pro for 10 years. He's a cash game player. Mostly, he says, and he's going to go out. And here's Tom again with ace four spades, making it 35 to go. Aaron Ogus not going to play his ace six. I think that's okay. Jake wakes up with a pretty solid king queen of diamonds. He's going to put it all in, and Tom is going to call. Kind of obvious situation. Well, he's made it 63. There you go, Tom over the top is gonna put him all in, and a quick call by Jake with the king-queen, so this is it. They got the chips in there, Jake on the ropes here. Almost a coin flip. Tom, a little favorite. Good luck. Schindler got lucky early on to make a suck out work. Will he do it again? The flop is an ace, queen, 10. Always a sweat. So the big cheese looking good with the aces. Look at that. Jake has flopped a pair in a straight draw, and he's still only 34%. That's right. That's right. Well, he got the suck out earlier. It's to stick around. He gets it again with a queen. Three of a kind. Bink. Now, I mean, basically, Tom now has two outs. That's all it takes. Wow. This all is right, why Tom. you play poker. Kind of. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you never get cocky. I'm going to get punished now. <laughs> and a solid king. Oh, full house. There you go. 
Put all your money in with the king and a queen, and eventually the board comes queen, queen, king. Well, a lot of respect for Jake Schindler, and why not? We have five players remaining. He's down to 176, but he's picking up hands. I'd like to say he's up to 176. That's right. That's right. <laughs> he started with like 39,000 not that long ago. And we move on. Tom Marchese this time with a seven. And by the way, uh, another second on, on Jake Schindler. I mean, I, I have a lot of respect for him and the way he plays as well. Well, look at this, Jake Schindler, this time with ace-king. Beautiful hand. This is no king three. This is no four five. Well, here comes the re-raise. I guess if he didn't move in with the king-queen, he's... <laughs> yeah, he doesn't shove all in. He just makes a nice solid 95,000 raise. In addition, He's not afraid to have these guys stick around. He wants the action. Whereas Tom put in with ace four, just the hand before, this is different. He has a lot more chips, and, and you figure he's not going to be raising with something less than ace seven. So the short stack on a rush here tonight at the Bellagio High Roller. We're coming back for more on the World Poker Tour. Get a free entry into a $5,000 guaranteed tournament and play online poker for real cash and prizes at clubwpt.com. Sign up for free today using bonus code YT23. Dave Peters. Tough young poker pro with a 9-7. Gonna take a gamble, make it 33,000. Sam behind him, won't play. This is the guy that usually likes to play. He's the chip leader, he could afford it. That's Tom Casey. Let's take a look at his cards. Just a jack nine. Let's see if he makes this call, splashes around. Yes, he can afford to do it. So he's put in the calling chips. The two chip leaders are gonna take a little yeah. battle. With two bad hands, jack nine versus nine seven. The flop is a jack queen queen though. Marchese hitting jacks and setting the trap with a check. Will Dave fire this with a continuation? For five years, it seems like whenever anybody flops anything, they check it. Mike the Mouth Matisau would fire here. <laughs> Interesting. And then David Peters would fold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Marchese doing a little acting like he has a decision to make. We know he doesn't. Pretty auto call, 22,000. And we are going to the turn. A big ace doesn't change anything. Dave Peters get the memo and slow down. Yeah, I think he got the memo. He's going to check. River card four means nothing. I like David Peters the way he, I like the fact that he checked it behind. Really, he could, he's only ahead of 9, 10 at that point, or maybe a few flush draws. I mean, I, I kind of think uh, Marchese betting 35000 here, he's kind of hoping that, that David Peters has nines or tens or something and pays it off, but it's more likely as nothing. I think a check is, you know, a little bit better here. Well, we are not going to find out because David runs from that hand. Tom Marchese, everything going right for him, takes down this pot. Tom, originally from New Jersey, now lives in Vegas. Poker pro for 12 years. High Roller Specialist and the winner of Season 10 WPT Super High Roller. Great, great player. As we move on, Dave Peters this time, quick fold. Sam out, Marchese. With a 9-6 of hearts. Raise it up. Just doesn't matter when you have those kind of chips. He's going to make it 35. Well, when you're able to raise before the flop and everybody's folding, and then even when you miss on the flop and you bet out and they all fold, I mean, you might as well just keep going until someone, you know, steps you up down. and stops you. That's yeah. right. Well, Jake Schindler's going to try to stop him. He's got 10, 8 of hearts. He's made the call, and the flop is an ace, jack, deuce. Neither player hitting. Jake's going to check. Like you said, you just don't slow down until someone stops you. He's going to bet again. And Jake with just 10 high has had enough. Big Cheese extending the chip lead here tonight. Tom Marchese will raise it to 32 with just a jack nine. Yeah, he's been raising every hand. He might as well keep the pressure on. 
Uh, Aaron Ogus, the non-professional developer, manager at Microsoft, hasn't played a hand here tonight. He looks like he's going to take a stab at this with a king ten of clubs. A good aggressive thought process for him. Marchese has been raising every hand. 125, he's making it. Jake flies away. Dave Peters also out. Nice aggressive move, Aaron Ogus. And back on Aaron. Aaron does have guts. He showed it in that last hand, and he showed it by racing cars full time. Oh my God. Yeah. Risk taker. You gotta be a risk taker sometimes. In poker, of course. And now Dave Peters with Queen Nine. He's gonna call on the small blind. I like this play. It's Sam with a pair of fives. Now Sam. He's the second short stack at this point with about 361 to start this. Does he want to get fancy here with a race, perhaps? Yes, he does, it looks like. 44,000. Raise 44,000. And he's going to make it 44. 30,000 more. And so David has a choice now. David's in second chip position with close to 1.5. These days, the, you know, the current generation of poker players, of which David is an excellent player, um, like to call in these spots. Now, there's our action clock. It's ticking down to four seconds, putting the pressure on him. He's made the call. See how that speeds things up, right, Phil? You like the action clock. I do like the action clock. All right, let's see if he will get lucky with it. Flop is a 10, 8, 5, three of a kind there for Sam. And a straight draw for David and an overcard. He is not folding. Let's see how he plays this hand. Well, he has checked. Have to bet the trips here. Give your opponent a chance to call or move in on you. <laughs> You're hoping they move in. So don't, don't check it. He's going to bet it. He's betting 30. And that's a difference, maybe a generational difference, or the difference between like you know people that like to read people and don't like to read people. I haven't seen David even look at Sam yet. Look at Sam. Look at him. He looks like he has a tiger. It looks like he's pounced. Looks like it. Looks like he's flopped a set. You know, <laughs> man. Six on the turn, so Dave doesn't get his straight there. But bad card yeah. for Dave because now he needs a seven for a straight or a jack or a queen for an overcut, which he assumes is good. It turns out it's not good. If he wants to play still, 73 has been bet into him. I like that bet. It's very milky, you know? It's like, I'm going to keep you in there. If you have any draws at all, <laughs> if you have any pair at all, please call me. Dave is trying to figure this out. He's made 21 million in career live earnings. He'll make this call and hope to get lucky yeah, and still break like Sam. Sam. I, I see. I think he has to call the 73 here. So eight on the river. So Dave doesn't get there. Sam only gets better. This is either quit time or do the hero move and take a stab at a bluff. You would think. I still haven't seen David even look at Sam. And then sometimes no. when you look at him, he's thinking about bluffing all in here, right? Tick tock, tick tock. One. One. All in. All in. Call. That is going to backfire in a big way. Absolute frustration for Dave. Taking a stab there. Sam, it's a dream come true to take down that huge pot. He took a nice aggressive line there, and, and, and David could have won that pot if Sam didn't have a pair. Absolutely. Five plays remain. What action we're seeing here tonight.